If you work too much, then you fail. I was wondering, generally we used to think we have to work too hard so that we can achieve the success. But I realized there are two reasons for failure. One is lack of confidence and the second one is too much effort put into that one thing which you want, which you're expecting to happen. The right answer is totally inevitable if your thoughts are positive, constructive and filled with positive emotions. So how do you achieve get whatever you want? Say for example, you want to marry the girl whom you love. Now you have to feel that you just got married with a girl whom you love and that feeling is very very important because you have to talk the language of the subconscious mind. And what is the language of the subconscious mind? That is the feeling. So if you want to achieve something, feel that you just accomplished it. So that feeling will make the subconscious mind understand and it will start manifesting the things what you want. In this case, the girl whom you want to marry. The important thing is you will never get the feeling if you don't accept here. You have to make your conscious mind accept that it is possible. Only then you will get the feel. Only when you feel the feel, you will get whatever you wanted using the power of subconscious mind. I have seen few people saying that I will force myself to do the prayer. I will force myself to think positive. But please understand, you do not have to force yourself. You do not have to use your willpower because whenever you use your willpower, you will not be able to succeed. It has to be in a relaxed condition. It has to happen in a uh, very relaxed way. For example, you, you are going for uh, an exam. And when you go for an exam, if you are totally pressurized that you need to get this exam uh, 90 marks. In that way, when you enter the exam hall, you are already pressurized. When you are pressurized, you don't remember anything because the pressure is actually exerting on you and preventing you to get all the answers, whatever you want. So make sure if you want to get something, you have to make sure you are relaxed. The other thing is you should never use words like I hope so, I wish to, you know, all these things are not at all having any conviction and confidence. So make sure to use the right words. And the other thing is, say for example, you want to go to some place and you take a cab. And after you sit in the cab, you're saying to the cab driver, I want to go to point A. I want to go to point B. I want to go to point C. You are saying so many instructions to the cab driver. Now for which the cab driver will say, sorry, please get down. I'm totally confused. I cannot do all these things. So you have to know what's the end result which you are expecting. You need not have to know the path, the process, how you're going to achieve that. You need not have to know the how. Your job is just to know where you want to be and just think that and feel that you are there, just reach. And that feeling is going to be the communication language of your subconscious mind, which manifests itself to make it happen for you. Have you asked a child, what do you want? When the child is asked this question, the child says, I want a big aeroplane. I want a big house. But logically, it is not possible. But the kid dreams. What, this is how we should have faith. We have to have a blind faith blind confidence and conviction that whatever we are asking is just going to happen and that is called faith with that faith you will get your prayers answered or whatever you think in your mind will be definitely answered whenever there is a conflict between desire and imagination imagination always wins for example you want to marry a girl and your desire is to marry the girl but your imagination is it is not possible. My father will not accept. My family will not accept, uh, accept this. If your imagination is like that, then obviously your imagination will win. So make sure your imagination synchronizes. It is united with your desire. Please share with me if you find even one point is useful so that I get the motivation to make more videos related to this topic. 
sharing is caring bye